When students head back to class on August 3rd, they'll once again have the option for distance learning. But how that will look remains to be seen. Jen Boniza has more. School begins in less than three weeks, but parents will have to wait a little longer to find out what distance learning options will be available. Next week, we will be uploading by complex area information on each of our distance learning plans for each complex. Teachers worry they'll be forced to teach face to face and online lessons simultaneously again this year. Having to teach students in two different formats simultaneously was hard. It took almost twice as long to get through a lesson than if I'd only had one modality to teach. The board says they don't want that either. This resolution does not in any way suggest or require synchronous teaching by uh, classroom teachers, both online and uh, in to students in the classroom. That just creates an undue burden on teachers. And parents want to make sure there's actual interaction between teachers and online students. That a teacher isn't just uploading assignments for kids to complete. Basically, we're just, you know, asking for a distance learning option that is uh, fair and comparable to what they have in school. She says it looks like the majority of students will resume in person classes this fall, with only one to five percent of families in each area complex expressing interest in distance learning. But the challenge again is for every teacher we pull out to do full distance learning, we're going to impact per classroom uh, numbers. Uh, and so uh, schools are very carefully balancing these various um, components. We need to continue to work on making sure that there's clarity and that there's equity for students who are being provided. Payne also urged the DOE to look into federal funds to help provide adequate online learning options and hire teachers specifically for distance learning. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.